Alright, they're behind us! Already! Come on, Ed! This is not how I remember racing. As cycling fans, we have fallen in love with Strada Bianca. The Tuscan hills, the epic gravel sectors, and that brutal steep finish to Piazza del Campo. Italian racing at its best. Oh, and our friends over at Camus have got a campaign running at the moment to get everyone to ride their very own Strada Bianca by creating a route local to home and rides it in the spirit of the modern day classic. Yeah, and when we got wind of this, well, we had to give it a go ourselves. I mean, I love route planning and getting a bit mucky, so we thought we'd show you our very own Strada Bianca route. Oh, oh same like you guys going off-road. I know some good trails around here. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we're okay. gonna be riding like hard and fast. Yeah, we've got a few tips we can do that. Okay, um, yeah, yeah, if you feel up to it. Oh, I mean, mate, what's hard about it? I guess we better follow them. Should we try and catch them up? They're not hanging around. <laughs> right, let's go, come on. Today's route that I planned on Kamut is around 30 kilometers with a few climbs thrown in for good measure. I've also included a couple of gravel sections to really give it that iconic Strada Bianca feel. And I plan to finish the ride on a brutally hard climb too to finish off the day. Although now I'm not sure if the GMBN boys have got something else planned instead. Now the men's Strada Bianca is 180 kilometers long with 63 kilometers of Tuscan gravel over 11 sectors. And it's actually a fairly recent addition to the men's pro cycling calendar, with its first edition being in 2007. But since then, it has become a firm favorite in the cycling season, becoming quite comfortable alongside names such as Paris-Roubaix and the Tour of Flanders. Yeah, that's right. And the very name, Strada Bianca, means white gravel roads. And this really evokes yeah. some unique and jaw-dropping racing, which this event has become famous for. Yeah, and rightly so, because, well, we love the men's and now women's Strada yeah. Bianca Donna, and we just can't wait to watch it. Right, I think that's enough road. I know a good trail down here, or is it called a sector? Sector here. Quick, Alex. Oh. Better get on their wheel, mate. Oh my goodness. Ah! <laughs> oh my god. Ah! Oh, it's muddy. Nice. What's the back, see? <laughs> we made it. You guys are flying, Neil. That yeah, was, it's flying. That was pretty outrageous, that first sector. Yeah. Oh. Anyway, I'm really interested to hear your own thoughts on Strada Bianca and how you feel about road races starting to dabble more and more in kind of off-road sectors and gravel sectors, coming from a mountain bike background. What, what do you think about all of it? Yeah, I love it. I've watched it before and it's a beautiful part of the world. I've actually ridden a mountain bike around. Uh, I think it's great. I love watching races like the Paris-Roubaix where there's like an extra element to the racing that makes it hard. I mean, I think it's really fun to watch those guys and girls really struggle where they're battling each other and the terrain and the weather sometimes as well. So, love it, great. And when you see these kind of multi-discipline riders like Van der Poel, Van Aert, and Pidcock as well, who's dabbling in mountain bike too. I say dabbling, he's doing yeah. rather well at it. Yeah. Um, does it give you the feeling of kind of wanting to give it a go if you'd have been about racing, were you I don't know about me, I'm more of a gravity assisted rider to be fair, but I love seeing these modern riders like, yeah, White Van Art, Van der Poel riding mountain bikes, winning on mountain bikes, just brilliant all round cyclists. Yeah, it's fantastic. Um, I actually didn't get to ride Stry Bianca myself, I have done the sectors, and I did struggle with it in the dry. I actually really struggled with my breathing, it just gets so dusty. Yeah. So it's just a, it's a marvel to watch. One of those things that's better to watch than probably do. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Anyway, I'm enjoying this route. That first sector was pretty brutal. I'm not sure it can get any worse than that, can it? Well, next sector, 1.9 kilometers long. I think it's gonna be a bit more technical, a bit wetter. 
It's time to maybe spice it up, have a bit of a race. Okay, okay, yeah, I'm feeling that, okay. Off-road versus GCN. Go on then, yeah, let's get a point system going. Right then, first one to the end wins. We've earned it an advantage. I think we're going to need it. Alex, right, they're behind us already. Oh, Christ. All right, pick the pace up, mate. Oh, easy. Good. good. Rough. Oh, guys, that was pretty rough. <laughs> I don't remember seeing that in Charlotte Bianca, though. Cobbles. Anyway. That's cobbles. Oh, nice. Yeah, cobbles, gravel, and everything else. But uh, I was too far back to see who won that one. Um, I did my best, but GMBN, yeah. I okay. Think, I think GMBN. Okay, fair enough. GMBN, 1 0 to GMBN on the first yeah, uh, back sector. We're on solid ground now. We need to sort of up our game a little bit. Yeah, I think I'm going to try and keep things a bit more sensible from now on, guys, okay? Yeah. So, you know, take it easy, a bit of a rest. Come on. Right, let's do this. Come on. BMX track? Yeah! BMX track? <laughs> BMX track. Guys. BMX track? What, what on earth is this? I have never seen anything like this in a professional race. I mean, cobbles. There's a velodrome, there's a berm over there. This is, this is jumps. Jumps, Blake. Yeah, I've not set up. I've never done this in my life. It's time to get serious. Oh my goodness. That but was good. That was right? surprisingly good. I survived anyway. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'm absolutely gutted to have lost that race, but I have only got myself to blame. But I'll tell you what is impressive, is it's amazing what you can find on the back door of around the home area when you're out riding with a few friends that know where they're going. Yeah, it, yeah, it is amazing. Although I think the BMX track was a step too far. It was mighty impressive to see your skills on that. It made descending in the Gruppetta at the Giro like a kind of sofa. Sofa ride with a packet of chips. <laughs> your, your bike kind of looks like a beer, Max, though, Connor. God, does it? <laughs> okay, guys, okay, take it steady, take it steady. Anyway, we're going to kind of, I'm going to keep a lid on things now because we're racing towards the final steep climb of the day, our Piazza del Campo of this ride. It's going to be a great one, guys. Steep one, nice lane to get there, nice and gentle, nothing crazy. I think that was, you know, that was our... 16%? 16%, yeah. yeah. But no more off-road sectors, okay? All right. I can't promise anything. <laughs> okay. It's a bit scary what they're doing. Yeah. Hey Neil, you know, before we hit the last horrible climb, yeah. I reckon we could uh, squeeze in another route, off route, like an off road one, real well, nasty. We one. better make it the best one, yeah. Mate, it's gonna be rocky and horrible. <laughs> This next sector is going to be unreal. Okay, guys, just looking at the route here, and it's saying straight on, a few kilometers to the finish climb of the day, and then wow. we're done. Uh, no, no, boys. Uh, next left. Next. Left. Nice yeah. little surprise for you. Careful, Alex! 
is a bit much, do you not think? Totally railed that one, guys. Great <laughs> yeah, just uh, had that one. Should have seen me. You look good. Should have seen me. You're so fast, muscles growing on you. Yeah. <laughs> you were that one with the trail. <laughs> okay, guys. On the final climb of the day, finally, things got interesting a bit there. I'll give you that one. Yeah. I was hoping for a picture of and I think I've got a bit more than I bargained for. But now, the last couple of days is our Piazza del Campo, that famous finish in Strada Bianca. I tell you what, here in Bath, in the southwest of England, we have our own steep climb. It's getting steep. So, and I tell you what, it's time to get our revenge here. Race to the top. Come on. GCM versus GMBN. It's like those epic scenes of Wout van Aert cramping at the finish. After a brutal day on the bike. Ah. 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 Glory to the victor. Oh, good effort, mate. At least we showed them something about road riding. Oh, that was everything I had. I haven't gone that hard since I retired. Oh. Right, catch your breath. Yeah, pretend, pretend, pretend we're not out of breath. Easy. Quick, yeah, pretend we're not out of breath. Ready? Ready? Yeah. Woo. You right? Neil. Right, Neil? It's okay. Okay. She's cycling okay. Oh, it's punchy. It's a bit of a dra gradual one, yeah. The steep bit's coming up. <sighs> oh, I'll tell you what, I'm feeling the legs after that one. Blake and Neil, thanks so much for joining us. You're welcome. Uh, thanks, I enjoyed uh, most of that. I enjoyed it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry we had to give it a bit of a race up that last climb. I think if you'd have wait, not waited for us at the bottom of all those sectors, you'd have been miles ahead. <laughs> oh, you'd have been sat with a cup of tea by now. <laughs> yeah, but it was so impressive to see the skills you have on those ascents, so fair play. Um, we did make it to the end of our very own Strada Bianca on our doorsteps. It was so much fun, um, but I think I am going to need a few months recovery after that one. Yeah, it's been amazing and I'm absolutely exhausted after that. But if you've been inspired to create a route of your own, then head over to Kamut and don't forget to tag in Strada Kamut. And if you want to see the route that we've ridden today, you can check that out down in the description below. Yeah, and if you do go out on your very own Strada Bianca route, please do take a photo of it and upload it to the GCN app and submit it in the epic ride category and we'll try and look through a few and pick our favourites. But guys, that was epic bike ride. Thanks, Thanks so much. Thanks very much. I loved it. Thank yeah, you. brilliant. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you later. See you soon.